Hey guys, it's the Mini Photog here. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why I don't take my camera with me everywhere. I know what you're going to say, but the Mini Photog, you're a photographer. Aren't you supposed to take your camera with you everywhere you go? Let me tell you something. I actually do have a camera with me at all times. It's not my Sony, but it's my phone. You see, everyone has one of these, but I'm going to explain to you why I don't personally take my camera with me everywhere I go. Point one, less is better. I used to bring so much stuff with me on these short day trips we went on. You know, like going out to the park or hanging out with friends, those occasions. I eventually learned it wasn't necessary to really bring my camera with me. I didn't even use it at times. When I brought my camera, I remember it made my back ache carrying a bunch of stuff when I didn't even use most of the extras. I thought I needed all the gear I carried, but the more I took it with me everywhere, the more it became a pain to bring. So now I pack a light to save my back from injury. And sometimes you just want to enjoy the event rather than capturing it. As a full-time media creator, it feels great to just experience life as is. So my second point, not every place accepts cameras. When I went to eat at a place in Orange County, I was told even though my camera was small and harmless, I wasn't allowed to use it. Only my phone was accepted. On another occasion, back when I had a larger DSLR, I got maybe about 10 shots of my friend in the parking lot before security came and told us I wasn't allowed to take photos in the parking lot just because I looked pro when in fact I wasn't getting paid to take the photos. It was just for fun. So as you can see, even though I have trouble taking my camera everywhere, which that brings me to my next point, you become more creative using what you have. Having limitations forces you to get creative. Say you don't own a camera and only have a phone. Some really amazing photographs have been taken using just a phone. Take these pictures here. These were taken with a Samsung S4 and with a Samsung Note S8. These are all old phones. So my point is, you don't even need a camera to start developing your creative eye to produce images. Things like these are just tools to help you. The more you understand the foundation of photography, you'll be able to use any tool given to you. Anyways, thanks for stopping by to view this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.